It's a, it's a hard skill to learn and master, but it's well worth it. My name is Julie Arnold and I am an adjunct welding instructor here at FDCC. The best part about being in welding in the industry for me is that it's incredibly humbling because it's an ongoing learning process. I might leave class thinking that we've done a great job and then I go out on my own project and something challenges me and something doesn't fit right and I have to rethink my approach and I have to problem solve and I think that is the good, bad, and the ugly in welding is that not everything goes according to plan and you just have to become flexible and focused and power through it. It's just a, a lot of skill and a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of practice and patience. And so I would say don't be deterred by that, but follow it because you never know what that could lead to. How do you get that instant gratification of be a great welder and then open a shop at home? That's the biggest question we get. What YouTube channel can I watch? What welder should I buy at home? What supplies? And again, it's just such a broad, broad subject. So it really comes down to what are you looking to do? And a lot of details goes into that, such as material thickness and the type of process. There's just a lot of questions that need to be answered before somebody goes and buys their own and gets their hands on one. And that's why going through a program or even taking a small class that guidance can help boost the foundation, help provide a foundation so that you're able to go out and, and try to experiment on your own. I'm able to weld aluminum, steel. I've done MIG welding, TIG welding, so kind of all over the board. My name is Melissa Olson and I'm a welder fabricator. I never expected the diversity of jobs, like the, the amount of skills I'd be able to attain just by showing up. I mean, everything from pulling tape right, uh, measuring tape, which is something that they don't teach you in school, to uh, how to get a cleaner, better aluminum weld. Um, so I wanted to be a farmer. And every farmer I had ever talked to said, I welded this, I put this together, I welded that, I had to build this for my horses, for my cattle, I had to weld my tractor pieces. So I was in a program where I had a lot of electives and I was able to take welding. So I was like, sure, like, it might be a useful skill I don't have to pay for later. Well, I took my first class and I fell in love. Just striking an arc for the first time, being inside a hood, like all of it just resonated inside of me. Fabrication and welding is so broad. There are so many avenues you can take. I mean, anything from NASCAR to um, building global communication systems to uh, building buildings and bridges. And there are so many facets to it that you will find something you love inside of that. Like you will find a passion if you're geared that way. And part of being geared that way is liking to make things and create things and everything from the art side to the structural side. So I think the diversity in career fields, like you're not just pigeonholed into one thing. Like as long as you're willing to build, like you're able to expand and, and grow and keep growing.